That was an absolute beatdown. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another video of Sports Talk Buffalo. Before we go any further, I want to remind you guys to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a video. Also, remember to check out my Teespring store. Get yourself some cool merch. Link is in the description below. People, if the first two weeks are any indication as Bills fans of what we are going to see for the rest of the 2022 season, this may be the most fun that we have had as Bills fans in the history of of this franchise. For the second straight week, the Bills go in prime time and lay an absolute whooping on their opponents as they smoke, smoke the Tennessee Titans in prime time once again, 41 to 7. The Bills took their starters out with three minutes left in the third quarter. That's how much of a beatdown this game was. The Buffalo Bills made the first two weeks of this season look as effortless as Mario jumping on one of the Goombas in the Mario world. Buffalo has gone seven straight games with an opening drive touchdown. And the offense after that simply kept on rolling. They put up 414 total yards in this game for an average of 6.4 yards a play, and that's with an entire quarter of them taking their starters out and resting them, putting in their backups, and basically running the ball for the rest of the game. Now, once again this week, Josh Allen was cooking as he threw for 317 yards on 26 of 38 passing, four touchdowns, no interceptions in three quarters. Allen also added one run of 10 yards, which was another fantastic run. He, in the, in the opening drive, gets the ball, rolls out to his left, breaks a tackle, and then hurdles again over a defender, puts his hand down so he doesn't fall short, and rolls his body for a first down that kept the drive alive on a third and eight and ultimately led to a Reggie Gilliam touchdown play from Josh Allen to Gilliam where he makes a stupendous play, breaks a tackle in the backfield, turns a three-yard loss, into a touchdown. Josh Allen connected with eight different receivers in this game. However, it was Stefan Diggs who put on an absolute show in this game, going for 12 catches, 148 yards, and three touchdowns. Once again, that is in less than three quarters as the Bills rested their starters at the end of the third quarter. We also have to remember that the Bills are doing this. They're, they laid a beat down on the Titans without their number two receiver in Gabe Davis, who was inactive for this game with a sprained ankle, something he suffered earlier in the week in practice. I guess the only real knock on the Buffalo Bills in this game is that somehow, some way, they have to figure out how to get the run game going at some point this season. As in this game, even with them running the ball pretty much every single play after the starters were taken out, the three running backs combined for just 89 total yards in the run game this game. Now we go on to the Buffalo Bills defense. For the second straight week, they were dominant. Making Ryan Tannehill look completely incompetent. 
going just 11 for 20 for 117 yards, two interceptions, one of which was an awful interception in which Tannehill stared down his receiver, allowing Matt Milano to just slide underneath the tight end for an eventual pick six. An incredible play by Matt Milano and a horrible interception by Ryan Tannehill. And that's what would end his night as the Tennessee Titans eventually bench their starters also the rest of the game. Now, last season, Derrick Henry carved up this Buffalo Bills defense for 20 carries, 143 yards. That was 7.2 yards per carry and three touchdowns. So coming into this game without Ed Oliver and Tim Settle, it was going to be a big task to try to shut down the run game of this Tennessee Titans team. They were looking to get Derrick Henry going after he had a very subpar game in his first game against the New York Giants, a game in which they lost 21-20, to and Derrick Henry ran for just 89 yards. So you'd think he was coming into this game with a chip on his shoulder, just like the rest of the Titans, not wanting to go 0-2 to start the season. However, it was this Bills defense that stepped up big time in this game, making Derrick Henry look downright pedestrian as he ran for just 13 carries, 25 yards, and one touchdown with a long run all game of just nine yards. The Buffalo Bills defense was in the backfield all night long, not just getting after Derrick Henry, but getting after quarterback Ryan Tannehill. As they accumulated two sacks, three QB hits, and eight tackles for loss in this game. Now, two players for me that really stood out on the defense was defensive end Gregory Rousseau, who had just a whale of a game. He had four tackles, one sack, two tackles for loss, and a QB hit. And outside of an absolutely horrible play, a bonehead play, which potentially seriously injured Dane Jackson, I thought Tremaine Edmonds had a very, very good game. He finished with two tackles, one sack, two tackles for loss, and a pass defended, which turned into an interception for the Buffalo Bills. Overall, the second straight week, the the Buffalo Bills defense looked completely dominant. They held Tennessee to less than 200 yards of total offense in prime time. They stepped up huge. Now, next week, the Buffalo Bills defense is going to have a much tougher task with a huge divisional game going up against the Miami Dolphins who are coming off of a gigantic comeback win over the Baltimore Ravens that saw Tua Tagovailoa throw for 469 yards and six touchdowns as Hill and Waddle were off the charts good. Hill had 11 receptions, 190 yards, and two touchdowns. And Waddle had 11 receptions for 171 and two touchdowns. Also, the Buffalo Bills secondary is going to be tested early and often in that game. It is going to be a very tall task for the Bills defense to shut down both of those guys Going into next game, it is going to be a very big game as the Dolphins are looking to dethrone the Buffalo Bills as the AFC East champions. Going to be just a fantastic game next week. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a video. I talk Bills, Sabres, and UB Bulls men's basketball and football right here on this page. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic week.